Good day, students. On this group, we're going to be going over three examples on how to find finite limits. Um, we're going to be focusing on the algebraic method in this in this uh, installment. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and write down the instruction. We are to find the following limits. Okay. Find the following limits. All right. Question number one. We're going to find the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 2 over x minus 2. Okay? All right, so first thing we're going to do, uh, we'll just substitute and see if we can um, get a, a reasonable answer. If we run into trouble, then we'll see if we can factor this. Okay, so we we'll just substitute 2 into uh, the x's. So I'm going to substitute this 2 into this x and substitute 2 into that x. All right, so if I do that, I'm going to have, now you draw the limit after substitution, 2 plus 2 over 2 minus 2, okay? And that's going to be 4 over 0, okay? So what is 4 over 0? This is undefined. So since this is undefined, we go back to the original problem and ask ourselves, can we simplify this further um, to see what the problem is with this discontinuity here? The answer is no. In this case, the discontinuity is an infinite discontinuity, hence um, the left and right hand limits will differ. All right, so if it's irreducible, it's in its reduced form, then I can arrive with a situation like this. In this case, since this is undefined, the limit does not exist. Okay? All right, now let's try another example. Uh, let's find the limit. As x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Okay? All right, so let's just plug in first and see if we are successful. If not, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I plug in the 2 into this x and plug in the 2 into that x. So I'm going to have um, 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 4. And then uh, in, the, in the numerator, I have 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 over, um, actually this is supposed to be a 2 right here, 2 minus 2, all right, 2 minus 2 is 0, okay? So we have a 0 in the denominator, that's a problem, this is going to be undefined. So we need to go back and ask ourselves, can I reduce this? Well, we notice that x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares that can be factored. So I can rewrite this as x minus 2 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. All right? And then you notice that I'll uh, put the limit expression, limit, as x approaches 2. So you notice that these two are identical, so they cancel out. So this is continuity because of this... Um, expression on the denominator is a removable type of discontinuity, okay? So if you have removable discontinuity at a point, the limit still exists because it approaches the same value from the left and the right, all right? So this reduces to limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 2. The discontinuity has been removed. Now we just plug in um, the 2 into the x, and we're going to have uh, 2 plus 2, and the answer is 4. Okay, so anytime you have an undefined situation or the, like this, always go back to the original problem and see if you can reduce it to get a numerical value. If it's not reducible, then you know that the limit doesn't exist. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and try uh, example number three. So uh, example number three, um, if f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x, find... The limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and find the value of this limit. Um, we can clearly see that if I plug in 0 into the denominator, I'm going to be uh, dividing by 0 and it's going to be undefined. All right, so what I'll do is let me evaluate the top as much as I can to see if I can extract the factor of h to cancel out this uh, denominator, okay? All right, so first thing we're going to find is f of 2 plus h. 
all right so what is f of 2 plus h that is what you get when you um, plug in 2 plus h into f of x all right so we know that f of x is x squared plus 2x so what is f of 2 plus h f of 2 plus h simply means anywhere you have the x you replace it with 2 plus h okay so instead of x squared i'm going to have 2 plus h quantity squared plus 2 instead of 2x we have 2 times 2 plus h so we're basically composing uh, f of x with uh, 2 plus h okay so this is f of 2 plus h now to evaluate this we just expand as much as we can so this is 2 plus h times 2 plus h and then you distribute this 2 to these two terms right here so we have 4 plus 2h plus 2h okay now let's expand this if we expand this we're going to have um 4 plus 2h plus 2h plus h square plus 4 plus 2h okay now let's combine like terms you just have the h square h square and then uh we can combine 2h 2h and 2h um all right so when you combine 2h 2h and 2h you end up with uh plus 6h all right and then when you combine the constants 4 and 4 uh you get plus a okay so this is the value of um f of 2 plus h so that's the this piece right here now i want to find f of 2 so uh, what is f of 2? That's what we want to find next. So f of 2 simply means we're going to plug in 2 into this function f of x, okay? So remember that f of x equals x squared plus 2x. So I'm going to substitute 2 for the x's, okay? All right, so we're going to have f of 2 equals 2 squared plus 2 times 2. All right, using the order of operations, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 4 equals 8. All right, so now we're now ready to put everything back into the original limit. We're asked to find the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h. Okay, all right, so now we, uh, let's substitute in limit as h approaches 0 f of 2 plus h we found out to be h squared plus 6h plus 8 minus f of 2 is 8 okay all right so that divided by h and what you notice happening here is that the constants cancel out this should always happen okay so this constants cancel out so you're going to be left with um the limit as h approaches 0. Now we can factor out the h from these two terms of h times h plus 6 over h. Now you notice this h can be cancelled out. This tells us that this is a removable discontinuity. So this h can be cancelled out. So this now becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of h plus 6. So now what you do is you simply plug in the 0 for the h, okay? So if you do that, you're going to have um, 0 plus 6, and that equals 6. So uh, there basically goes your final answer. All right, let's go ahead and try another example. Uh, question number 4. Um, if... If... Um, f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2, find the limit as h approaches 0 of f of uh, 3 plus h minus f of 3 divided by uh, h, okay? All right, so the same procedure here. First thing we're going to do is find f of 3 plus h. So to find that, we're going to plug in 3 plus h for all the x's in f of x. So 
uh, we're going to have 3 plus h squared minus 3 times 3 plus h plus 2. Okay, let's simplify that. We're going to have 3 plus h plus 3 plus h because we have a square. Distribute is negative 3. That is two terms. Um, two terms here. So it's going to become minus 9 minus 3h plus 2. And then uh, you pull this out, distribute it out. You have 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 3h plus 3h plus h squared minus 9 minus 3h plus 2. Okay? Well, let's go ahead and combine like terms. Uh, we have h squared, h squared, and then uh, we can combine 3h, 3h, and negative 3h. That's simply going to give us positive 3h. And then we combine 9 and 2. That gives us actually 9, positive 9 and uh, negative 9 and positive 2. So that gives us um, positive 2 because the 9s basically cancel out. Okay, so this is f of 3 plus h. Now what is f of 3? We just simply plug in 3 into this function. So we're going to have 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 2. Okay, and if we simplify this, uh, 3 squared is 9 minus 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2. Final answer is 2. Okay, now we're going to uh, use this result and this result in our limit. So we're asked to find the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 divided by h. Okay, so f of 3 plus h we found out to be h squared plus 3h plus 2. Let's circle this so you don't get confused. These aren't x's. Plus 2 minus 2. All right, that's for the numerator. f of 3 plus h is this, and f of 3 is 2. That divided by uh, h. Okay. Now, the numerator, you notice the constants cancel out. That should always happen. All right, I lost my limits in the process, so let's put that in. Limit as h approaches 0. Okay. All right, so... In the numerator, we have h squared and 3h. So what we'll do there is just basically factor out the h. In the numerator, I'm left with h plus 3 divided by h. Okay. Now the h is divided out. h goes here 1, h goes here 1. And uh, now it's not going to become uh, the limit as h approaches 0. From h plus 3. Now I can now plug in uh, 0 into the expression. And we'll make the substitution. We're going to have drop the limit because we made a substitution. 0 plus 3. Final answer is 3. Okay? Alright, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on microserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.